So, we all know that in most cases, all we want to get is a proper animated content and with animation moving more into real-time data capturing and retargeting both for games, shorts and feature-length movies, the plight to get these motion captured data cleaned up properly and usable is still one that has haunted most animators and motion capture houses. As tools like Motion Builder are becoming more obsolete with pausing development cycles, the new release of Relution's iClone makes it all worth it as now it is more easier than ever to clean up and retarget your motion capture data. Relution's iClone has been known for their fast evolving animation system and pipeline and with their most recent update, more tools are now available for animators and motion capture artists. And the idea is for you to easily sync up with all of the motion capture system out there and get your motion capture data on your model in little to no time. As content creators can now capture motion from any tool and bring them all into Relution's iClone with ease. With support for industry leading format, which includes Maya, 3D Studio Max, Mixamo, Blender, Perception Neuron, Rococo, Xsense, and so on. Users can now easily apply motions to their character by simply dragging the motion captured file into their Relution character and pressing the playback button to preview the animation. This singular step has automatically skipped the laborious characterization, retargeting and endlessly saving of motion capture system profiles with Motion Builder just to get it to work over and over again, as this has totally eliminated one huge portion that would save so many animators time. Furthermore, Relution's iClone is also offering a few set of interesting new approaches to motion data cleanup, which includes posture correction, which will definitely come in handy, especially when you're trying to achieve the particular posture you're going for when capturing your data for animation. There's also the foot stabilization. The idea behind this is for you to have steady feet. So we all know that most of the motion capture system out there produces foot sliding, and this is something most artists have to deal with when cleaning up motions. Mirroring of motions can now be done with a single click, which is a lot better and easier to do. Relution iClone also offers layers, so if you're into additive layering, probably you like to reanimate certain parts of your model, or you like to correct an animation based off layering, then you can actually get to do that as well. There's also the automatic motion alignment and the whole clip alignment. And for constraint, there are good level of controls for parent character joints and props. So when you're working with most other tools, you get to constrain based off certain things and the parameters for this might not be the easiest to follow. But right here, you can get access to different kinds of constraint and also have options to play with three point rotational and translational offset. From the aim constraints all the way to look at constraints down to the physics link and unlink constraint. The physics link and unlink is a great way to simulate physics based reaction from both soft bodies and hard surface objects. Physics properties of objects can be set to dynamic, kinetic, static or even frozen with a worthy number of properties and controls of the physical state of individual object, this brings about a pretty accurate realistic response of the model that you are animating, as this easily saves you so much time to create rather than keyframing and second guessing how the motion or reaction of the object should be. Relution's iClone also provides the motion flattening and constraint baking. So once you're done making all of the adjustments you would like to do on your model or on your motion capture piece, you can choose to bake all of the constraint and the motions and flatten them. This doesn't stop there. Once you're done flattening these motions, you also have options of recorrecting these motions as you proceed. This has a pre-procedural layer based approach which simply allows keyframes and also clips to be merged together and flattened to generate a more unified clip. So if you're into motion, clip or story baking, then this actually does it all for you. And for fingers, we all know that with most motion capture files out there and most motion capture systems, these don't come with fingers. And this is where the finger gesture from Relution's iClone comes in very handy. The multi-layered approach for hand gestures is super easy to work with as you can easily work based off the library of hand gestures or you can puppeteer this or even control them with Relution's control rig which makes it super easy for you to animate fingers. And with all these and even more features now available in Relution's iClone, you can now easily start retargeting and getting those motion capture files working exactly how you want them to. So from real-time motion capture editing, automatic and quick rigging, all the way to using animation layers, keyframing and curve editing, motion directing, time warping, motion tweaking, multifunctional edit motion layering, hand and foot contact, physics, and a whole lot of other forms of constraints that are now currently available, characters and props can now be animated and artists can get the most out of their motion capture data from Relution's iClone, which is more of a comprehensive way to edit your motion capture data with ease. So, 
This is it. For anyone looking for a quick and responsive way to create and clean up their animation or even create animation with super ease, then iClone is the tool for you. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Link to this are going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.